Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. You die and the first thing you see in the afterlife are three buttons, next level, spectate and restart. Which one do you press and why? Shit, no button to send me back to the main menu and switch some settings around. The field of view default is way too low. I think I'll turn charisma up. Damn, all these people saying next level. That's one hell of a gamble here. Well restart is just repeating what happened without memory of it so if you choose restart you're stuck in an endless loop spectate implies you can choose the other two anytime so there's no risk pretty much your only option is next level. Restarting the level means you know to save the health jars for after the first boss and that there's not much ammo in Ravelm. Though all the dialogue options are the same. Ah, I'm done. Ain't pressing any buttons. Just stare at the buttons forever. All hail the button gods. If you press all three buttons at the same time, it takes a screenshot. Okay, let's break this down. If I were to choose next level, that would basically be me telling the game devs I enjoy what I've seen, and want to keep playing. That may be true in some cases. In particular, the physics engine and graphics are phenomenal. Incredibly lifelike, even if a large percentage of the player base require a mod to get the full experience. However, they also wildly vary the difficulty based on where the player spawns, and seem incapable of keeping cheaters out of the game, so that generally doesn't translate to positive reception. Even worse, the devs saw fit to only allow access to the UI after the player's first death. I don't know about you but that strikes me as very poor game design. I'd definitely file a bug report about that if I were a beta tester, but since this is the fully released product, I have no choice but to let it slide. There are many problems with the level we just finished, but not everything was bad, and there were definitely some redemptive qualities about it. Spectate is a very interesting option. Given these devs' skills with visual presentation but inconsistencies with overall player experience, I'm not sure I'd be able to go back and change any settings once I pick this option. However, it'd be very interesting to see if physical limits still applied, because theoretically I could go out of bounds and see if there are any easter eggs I missed in other unexplored areas of the game. Given just how detailed and varied they made the world that a player can explore, there's got to be more they left out of the main story. Restart strikes me as the worst option of the bunch. Given that I just completed the first level, pushing restart would almost certainly wipe my save clean, and start the whole thing over, erasing any memory I might want to save for future use. Especially considering just how much of the game's ehoyability depends on where you spawn, it seems like a bad idea to just start over from the beginning, because a bad spawn could severely limit what you can do. All things considered, I think the thing that the devs of this game are best at is crafting a world. I've already experienced the one they put in the first level, and while it did have its ups and downs, I think spectating it wouldn't uncover anything super worthwhile. Restarting seems like a fool's errand, particularly with the RNG involved. In conclusion, I'd push next level, and see just what the designers had cooked up next. Could be a new physics system, more vibrant environments, or just giving me a grappling hook. Whatever it is, I think that's my best bet. How do you know the graphics are great? Maybe they suck compared to whatever the real world is. That would be crazy. Imagine going to the afterlife and realizing that Earth's graphics are asterisk comparable to that of Skyrim. Edit, I always though people were exaggerating when they said rip my inbox but now I understand. I only got two Kelvin up bodies and I can't open Reddit without at least three notifications haha. <laughs> if I could restart knowing what I knew then, then restart. If not, then next level. Then you would restart with memories of people you will never see or know again. As a parent this would be torture to me. I'd prefer to just restart the life I'm already living. I would never make a mistake, I could warn the world of disasters, and I could make a shit ton of money in the stock market. Spectate. I don't want to do this shit again, but I am curious how things turn out. After playing Among Us as a ghost and seeing people fuck up countless times, I don't know if I'd have the patience or sanity to do this lol. Just fucking do the smart thing. A.G.H. Idiots. It's so obvious. I'm imagining it being like my dad watching football. Spectate doesn't show you how things turn out, it shows you other people playing the game better than you did. So I'm a ghost. Yeah that's fine. Most spectate modes let you choose another option as well. Games would suck if spectate was permanent.
No new game plus. I want to keep my gear and experience. But all mobs and quests are scaled up for a higher difficulty. So inflation. Can I use the motherload chest before I start though? If I can go back to the menu at any time, spectate, lots of questions I want answers to before moving on. Imma press spectate and then travel the world. And then I'm going to get into space, watch the solar system, watch everything, float inside a black hole, visit random star systems, find something similar to the pillars of Hercules, you know do the stuff that I can't do right now. This guy knows how to spectate. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Uh. You've unlocked hardcore. 30% less oxygen. This option has already been unlocked under the asthma, respiratory disorder, deviated septum, and red blood cell disorder debuffs. Alt F4. I just wanna close the shit out and take a forever nap. Yep, put it down and walk away for a while. I mean, damn. The gamer in me tells me, if there is a next level, that means I beat this one. Bring it on. The enemies are gonna be harder to beat too. Hope you're ready for Depression 2 and Anxiety Plus. Welcome player. The year is 1885, the country is Congo. You are born to simple farmers under the colonial rule of Leopold II of Belgium. Good luck. Next level I'm done here. I think I'm quite ready for another adventure. I understood that reference. The next level raises the difficulty. You were on easy in the 21st century West. It was only the tutorial. Yeah, imagine the next level is right in the middle of the Black Plague in medieval Europe. Spectate, cause then you can do forward slash game mode 1. Clearly the best move is to press all three buttons at the same time and pray. Next level. Absolutely ready to move on to whatever comes after. No interest in spectating as I have a feeling more or less how it goes. And hell no to restarting this mess. Next level would be more difficult. Be prepared to born in a poor family in an underdeveloped, conservative country, perhaps with abusive parents. Good luck. The year is 1612. You were born in Brazil. Your parents are slaves and work in a sugarcane plantation. You were assigned to prepare sugar. Good luck. Restart. Hands down restart and not to avoid two divorces, the first one I wouldn't be sitting here the dad of two awesome teenage boys. Not to try again to make better choices or success. There is only one reason. A day at 19 still haunts me. I was sitting around the house bored and broke and asked my mom if I could borrow $10 to go shoot some pool. She said why do you call Ben you'll always have fun without spending money. I didn't call Ben. Coroner determined he shot himself about 5 minimum after the cavo I had with my mom. I should have called Ben. It's 20 years later almost. Ben was the warmest, nuttiest, most unique person I ever had the pleasure of calling friend. We grew up in Boy Scouts at sea together. I miss Ben. Restart. That's all I got for you. I just hope you know, you aren't responsible. I know nothing will change the hurt, and you making that call would have changed things. But hindsight is 20 20ths. You had no way to know that's how it would turn out. Depends. Does next level just put you in a different life or is it always harder? Does restart keep your memories? That would be the crux of my decision. I would not spectate as you'd get very bored after a while. Spectate might be a cool choice if you can go anywhere or any when that you want. But if you spectate, there isn't a game over state to get out of spectator mode. You'd eventually get bored. Restart baby. Speaking of which, imagine being a baby with fully adult level cognition. That would be bizarre. Your first words could be something ominous like hello again, mother rather than mama or dada. You'd be so vulnerable, with those squishy bubblegum bones. Hello, mother, I have come back and am here to deliver an important message. Teenager with adult level recognition but constant sexual urges from hormones. Hello again, mother. Kill it with fucking fire. 2020 was bad enough, don't make 2021 worse. First words hello mother, invest in Google. That would make life way ye different. Fuck yeah maybe I can stop myself from screwing my life up this time around. Hell yeah. 
I am gonna live in my parents' basement until 2010 and start mining Bitcoin. LOL. Spectate. I need a fucking break. Spectate. I would love to be able to see in depth how other people live their lives because it's essentially living another life as you can follow anyone around as much as you want while not actually having to go through the negative aspects of said life. Wait so are we being spectated or n? Asterisk puts lotion down asterisk. Maybe this is why we feel disgusted after. We get the second hand disgust from. Who? Aged, Emma head out. <laughs>